Today, we take a close look at the Ulta Machine Einzi board. Actually, two of them. If you've ever seen my channel before, you know that I love electronics. And that definitely includes 3D printer main boards. In fact, it helps me sleep at night to know I have a few spares on hand. So it wasn't that big of a stretch for me to head over to Printed Solid and grab a couple of Ulta Machine Einzi boards. But why two? Well, that's because there's the Einzi that was developed with Prusa Research for the Mark III, and then there's the Einzi Retro that's been retrofitted to be a lot more like the common main boards that we all use. So today I want to go over the features of the Einzi and compare the two different versions. Now, when Prusa was designing the Mark III, they wanted to keep the same form factor as the Mini Rambo that was from the Mark II, but they wanted to add a lot more bells and whistles. So I think it's important if we take a look at the Mini Rambo first. So the Mini Rambo is actually a condensed version of the Ultima Machine Rambo board. Rambo being short for Rip Rap Arduino Mega Compatible Motherboard. It has a lot less I.O. connections available than the full Rambo does, but the biggest difference is being there's only four stepper drivers instead of five, there's only three thermistor jacks, and there's a couple of less MOSFETs on the Mini Rambo than there is on the full Rambo. The Mini Rambo has A4982 stepper drivers that have PWM control, so you can set the voltage in the software instead of with a trim pot. And it has a software controllable fan interface that you can use for your hot end fan. On the 1.3 version of the Mini Rambo, the newest version like this one, you do get onboard support for LCD screens, you get a few exposed pins over here that you can play around with, and you get maximum and minimum end stop connections that do have voltage, positive and negative, and signal. It is still using the Atmega 2560 processor, and the heat bed and extruder, and both power inputs are using the clip-on type connector. And this is the IC board developed with Prusa Research. You'll notice it's the same form factor as the Mini Rambo. Feature-wise, the biggest difference are the stepper drivers. These are Trinamic TMC 2130s. This is what enables a lot of the nice-to-have features on the Mark III. This includes 256 times microstepping, sensorless homing, and SBI control of the motor current. We're still using the 2560 processor, but one of the biggest advantages in my opinion over the Mini Rambo is you get the screw down terminals for the bed and the power in. That is a lot better solution than the clip on connector. The other differences between the Einzi and the Mini Rambo will compare side by side with the Einzi Retro. So here's both boards side by side. This is the Einzi, this is the Einzi Retro. One of the first things you're going to notice is this header right here. That takes the place of your maximum end stops on the regular style board. This header was developed to communicate with the board via a serial device. So you could plug a Raspberry Pi Zero directly into the back of this board and use it through the serial interface rather than the USB interface. Here's what the back of the INC looks like. You can solder pins on your Pi Zero and push them straight through into that header to interface with it. Prusa also uses this interface in their print farm for diagnostics. The next thing you'll notice that's different in between the two boards is your Z minimum end stop. There's actually four pins on the INC versus on the Retro. That's because Prusa is using the pin to two probe on the Mark III that has a wire that's dedicated for a thermistor inside the probe. That gives them more accuracy at different temperatures. So with the addition of this header and the change up of the Z minimum end stop, Prusa had to make a few choices on how this board was configured. They've moved the X and Y minimum end stop pins down to two pins, so you just get signal and ground, which you really don't need these anyway if you're using the INC board, because you can use the centerless homing on the 2130, but they're still there if you'd like to use them. And all the maximum end stop pins are gone, but you have a set of 5 volt pins over here. And another big difference between the boards are these power panic pins down here on the Einzi. Prusa uses a cable from their power supply to go directly to the board, so the board knows instantly when power has been disrupted. Then the software can quickly save your print moves and try to get the print head out of the way, so that you can return to printing when the power is restored. And really the last difference about these boards that's somewhat interesting, on the Einzi that was developed with Prusa, no matter what voltage you run at, 12 or 24, these fan pins are going to be 5 volt. My guess is Prusa went with the 5 volt fans because they'd be a lot quieter running at 5 volts. They're using a Noctua fan on the Mark III and it is a 5 volt fan. 
Now on the retro, the fan pins follow the voltage. So if you use 12 volt, they'll go with the 12 volt fan. 24 volt, 24 volt fan. That's definitely something to consider when you're looking at the INC board. But also the fans have three pins. One of those is for a tachometer or monitoring. So you can tell if the fan's working or not in the software. Prusa does use that in their firmware. It's also important to mention that these are 8-bit boards and the memory is limited. But at the current speeds of a Cartesian i3, 8-bit still works just fine. No need to go to 32 in that configuration. And as always with the Ultimachine Machine boards, these are open source. So the 2130 stepper driver is the biggest advantage of running the INC board. Your stepper motors run almost silent and you get a few other features. They also run fairly cool when mounted on the PCB. The INC PCB is six layers thick. Now they're going to run a lot hotter if you're trying to use the silent step stick version on another board, so you're going to need some active cooling. Now there is conversation whether the 2130 runs better at 12 or 24 volt. It should run better at 24 volt, but some people say that it might not be as quiet at 12. So I thought that would be an interesting test. This is the X motor moving 200 millimeters at 12 volt. It is silent. You can't hear the motor running at all. Granted, it's not moving anything, but the motor operation, nothing. And here's the same 200 millimeters at 24 volt. I can't tell any difference between 12 and 24. Granted, at 24 volt, you're going to have less draw, and the driver will probably run a lot cooler. So which INC board do you choose? Well, pretty much unless you're using Prusa firmware from Prusa Research, you don't need to run the INC board. Go with the INC Retro. It has more common features, and they're going to go a lot closer in line with Marlin. Hopefully you found this comparison interesting. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. Now I gotta build a printer to put one of these boards on.